Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, just over my shoulder here, you can see my uh, Himalayan uh, lamp that I got off a of Wish. Uh, USB powered, so I can run it easily off the grid for long periods. No big deal. Um, anyway, that's that was just kind of I put that there just for the video. Got a haircut. Um, so. It is the eve of my dad's uh, first chemo treatment, and my mom is taking him in. So I'm gonna stay and man the house and the phones and whatever. But uh, hopefully, you guys will give my dad some luck and all that. Um, so wanted to talk to you guys about something with concern the tiny house. And I've been uh, kind of thinking about this for a while now. Um, I, I mentioned it in a few videos. Behind me, the, all these cardboard boxes contain, they're still sealed, brand new. Um, there's two per box, 100 watt polycrystalline solar panels. I bought 20, well, no, I bought 10 boxes, which adds up to 20 solar panels and in those in that kit that I and they came with a kit so they came with PWM charge controllers all the wire etc 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 got a super deal on those back when I did them a few years ago now now um, you guys saw the the first winter here I survived with the solar panels no big deal worked great but Continue on with the tiny house, guys. I wanna, I wanna do things r right this time around. So I don't want to build aluminum framing for the rest of the trailer and have it sticking up. And if I ever had to move the trailer by some weird circumstance, I'd have a ton of work ahead of me to remove all that framing and solar panels off the roof. It'd be a complete nightmare because right now. The tiny house is like at 13 feet, 2 inches or something insane already. So it's pretty much maxed out. It's just under the height limit by a couple inches. And that's normal for transport trailers because they want to squeeze in the most they can legally for loads and stuff like that, right? So basically, I've decided with the help of uh, Stu and, and some other research that I did, that I am going to sell the panels behind me uh, $400 a box because they're sealed brand new um, I'm gonna sell them on like a Craigslist service or Kijiji and basically um, hopefully they sell and uh, I have purchased already I, I, I posted these up for sale and then I actually purchased from Amazon a set of a one kilowatt set of flat solar panels monos this time 100 watt each and the important part of getting the flat ones the fr on the front you want your wire connections you want your little terminal box and your wiring on the front because you're going to be fastening this stuff flat down onto a roof and you don't want to bulge underneath your uneven surface with wires and stuff like that so the, the there's a few reasons I'm doing this one is I do not need to buy more aluminum racking and obviously build higher than the limits of the tiny house that are legal for going on the road and moving this thing if I had to second safer Safer for me to go up with a um, squeegee, push snow off, uh, clean them with water, etc., etc., etc. Easy access, um, and uh, a lot less weight on the tiny house. That's for sure. Um, even though the um, the frame basically takes the weight of the and and. And does it down vertically um, I just thought it you know what we I want to do it so you know 
it's right. So I'm going to basically tar these things down carefully all over the entire top of the tiny house and it'll be stealth. No one will know they're up there unless you're up on the ladder or got a drone or something <laughs> and can see them. So now the big thing is with the flat solar panels, they are like 82% less the weight as well and they're flexible and, and what have you. So there's a lot of benefits. However, they're like double the cost of um, regular solar panels. So um, let's say, let's say for instance, I sell all the solar panels behind me. I, th at that price of um, $400 a box, I think I will make $3,200 cash back. The new panels will cost me $2,100, the new set. Now, the downer to that is the one the ones I'm buying is only at 1,000 watts. So it's 10 100 watt panels, whereas I had 20 here. Uh, obviously, there's four on top of the tiny house right now. Work awesome. Love them. I'm just going with something different before doing the entire trailer. You know, it's an, ex it's an experiment, guys. Like, there's not too many guys out there doing what I'm doing. So, it's a learning in progress. Um, but, I think it's the way to go. Obviously, I'm going to lose out on a thousand watts that I had. It, it all depends on how well these sell and what have you. But, I think I think I got it priced appropriately because they're brand new sealed in the box still. Like, come on, right? Um, and there's no, I'm not charging tax and all this other environmental crap. I'm just, it's going to be straight cash. So we'll, and uh, it'll clean this uh, back room out for sure. I was I was actually planning on moving these guys to the tiny house uh, sometime soon. But if I'm able to sell these, <sighs> things will be good. So it'll generate some cash. It'll pay for my new set, and then I'll have a little bit of cash left over. Um, Obviously, I'm going to need you guys' help, Stu, and, and all the other solar guys out there who watch me. Give me some help on putting these panels in series. Once I get them, I'll shoot a video of that, obviously. And then how many I can put in series and what have you. And then I can put those on the MPPT charge controller, finally, and get batteries, hopefully, and whatever, right? So, now, another thing. I have not received income tax money yet back yet though that will help as well so when I get that money I'm basically just gonna bank it um, and then once I once the new set of solar panels arrive and I, we see how well these sell behind me we'll go from there on spent what are we gonna go go at next but I'm really liking the idea guys I can glue them flat right on the roof as is the tiny house Just run the wires and then run them into the side one of the side walls coming into the tiny house and that's gonna be awesome I can go up the ladder have a nice visual inspection I don't have to go really tall and I can go up and clean easily with a squeegee brush with like like one of those um, ones you do for windows that have a long handle and I can I can do um, the majority of the tiny house from the ladder doing that and um, I'm liking this idea. Now it's going to cost me a little more. I'm probably going to take a little loss on the panels, but you know, things are things are things are crazy, right? So we'll see how things make out, guys. Um, I hope everything works well, and uh, I'll give you updates as we go. Kind of uh, big news here, so we'll see exactly what happens. And um, I gotta charge the camera up because it's pretty much yelling at me that it needs power. And then I gotta shoot a little bit more videos here for you guys because I got some other interesting stuff that I was able to get by selling some of the uh, computer parts that were up for sale. So 
It's I'm not I'm not going over beyond my means, and uh, work has picked up, so I'm working, and um, I did lose a Patreon member. Um, I believe I'm not sure exactly why. I believe it's because um, well I'm not even gonna get into it, but um, it's. I'm not even going to get into it. But anyway, not a big loss. Um, I guess they will come and go as Patreon goes, you know. And we'll see if I can continue to make make a little bit of money on YouTube with your guys' help by liking my videos, sharing them, subscribing, and all that fun stuff. So thank you very much, guys. I just want to give you that update. And we will see you on the next one. Rob out.